He was a successful businessman turned politician. And colleagues say 71-year-old Keith Crisco didn't need to run for public office, but it was a higher calling. He did it at his age because he truly believed that we needed to send people to Washington who had experience in business and public policy and could make a difference. Before his unexpected death, Crisco trailed former American Idol contestant Clay Aiken by fewer than 400 votes for the Democratic nomination in North Carolina's 2nd Congressional District. A longtime friend said during a phone conversation yesterday, Crisco told him he planned to concede. An hour later after that, uh, he slipped and fell and uh, is no longer with us. But Crisco's campaign manager said a decision had not been made. We were not ready to concede until every single ballot was counted. Aiken has suspended all campaign activities and in a statement posted on his website said, I am stunned and deeply saddened by Keith Crisco's death. Results from last Tuesday's primary are expected to be certified Thursday. Election officials say if enough new votes turn up to make Crisco the winner, local Democrats will select a new nominee. If not, Aiken will get the nomination. Marley Hall, CBS News.